Let us first understand what is diplopia or double vision. Diplopia or double vision is when you see two images of the same thing. The two images can be side by side on top of one another or both. Binocular double vision only occurs when both eyes are open. If a person closes one eye, the double vision will go away as it is caused by each eye seeing slight differently. Monocular double vision may occur when the double vision results from an issue with just one eye. Causes of Diplopia Why does diplopia occur? Causes of Binocular Diplopia A common cause of binocular double vision is a squint or a strabismus. This condition occurs when the eyes are not correctly aligned due to extraocular muscle imbalances. Other common causes include thyroid dysfunction, stroke, heart attack, convergence insufficiency, diabetes, head injury, brain tumors, etc. Causes of Monocular Diplopia Monocular double vision is less common than binocular double vision. Common causes include astigmatism, dry eyes, keratoconus, cataracts, etc. Alcohol intoxication and drugs such as opioids or certain anti-seizure medications can sometimes cause temporary diplopia. What are the different types of diplopia? What a person with diplopia sees depends on the type they have. Horizontal diplopia The double image appears side by side. Vertical diplopia one image appears on top of the other. Diagonal Diplopia The images are horizontally and vertically displaced from each other. Common Terms Let's understand the common terms that we will use in this presentation. Diplopic image Diplopic image is the fainter ghost image that is the false image out of the two images of the object seen by each eye when they are not aligned properly in a particular direction. Direction of diplopic image Direction of diplopic image refers to the direction in which the object is seen double when both the eyes are not aligned properly. Crossed and uncrossed diplopia a form of diplopia in which the false image is seen in the opposite direction to the positional direction of the affected eye. Example, in exotropia, the eye turns out, image is seen moving inwards towards the nose or appears crossed. In esotropia, the eye turns in, the image is seen moving outwards away from the nose or appears to be uncrossed. The same principle is applicable when the eyes deviate or move vertically up or down or deviate and rotate diagonally inwards or outwards, the image is seen in the opposite direction to that of the deviating eye. Homonymous Diplopia A form of double vision in which the false image is on the same side as the affected eye. Example, right eye has convergence squint, that is, eye moves towards the nose. Left eye is normal. The diplopic image is seen to the right of the image seen by the unaffected eye. Heteronymous diplopia, a form of double vision in which the false image is seen on the same side as the unaffected eye. Example, right eye has divergence squint, that is, eye moves away from the nose. Left eye is normal. The diplopic image is seen to the left of the image seen by the unaffected eye. Separation of images in diplopia simply means the distance between the two images seen by affected and the unaffected eye. Nine cardinal positions of gaze. The nine gazes are straight ahead, left, right, straight up, up and to the left, up and to the right, straight down, down and to the left, down and to the right. Let us now understand the prerequisites required for performing the diplopia charting test. 
patient preparation explain to the patient about the test because it's a method in which the subjective deviation is recorded by asking the subject to quantify the separation between the double images the patient is prescribed proper refractive prescription to avoid any blurring of vision during the diplopia charting test there is a requirement for the red green glasses during the test this test is repeated in all the nine cardinal positions of gaze the test can be performed after taking the detailed history from the patient related to the diplopia example is the diplopia monocular or binocular history of the onset of diplopia frequency duration from which it is experienced and the time of the day when the diplopia is worst etc diplopia chart method how is the test performed patient is asked to wear red green diplopia charting goggles normally red glass in front of the right eye and green in front of the left eye the patient is made to sit with his or her head straight in a semi dark room and is shown a fine linear light from a distance of 4 feet first in the primary position the light is then moved from the primary position into all of other eight directions of gaze patient is asked to indicate position of diplopic image such as the horizontal displacement the vertical displacement and the tilting of images in each position of gaze the patient is asked to use his or her hands to show the positioning the tilting and the separation of the images seen for each position of gaze the patient is also asked to comment on the brightness and the separation between the red and green images patient is questioned about diplopia in all nine positions of gaze while plotting the diplopic fields of patients the examiner should look for the following from the patient's comments whether horizontal diplopia is homonymous or heteronymous whether the image seen by the right eye that is the red image is higher or lower than the image seen by the left eye that is the green image or vice versa in which direction of gaze separation between the red and the green image is greatest whether there are any directions in which the fusion is present three points to be remembered by the examiner are Results are always recorded on a grid depicting nine positions of gaze. Results are recorded as if the examiner is the patient that is from left to right. Important to record which image represents which eye. Red image belongs to the right eye with the red goggle. Distance of separation between the images. Any tilt of image patient notices. position where maximum separation occurs it is important to remember the pair of yoke muscles acting in different gaze positions overacting muscle in the gaze having maximum separation between the images deviating eye the image that appears furthest away belongs to the deviating eye position of images will be in opposite direction to the position of the deviated eye example hyper deviation image is lower hypo deviation image is higher torsional deviation when torsion is present torsion is greatest in the position where secondary action of the vertical muscles take place paralyzed muscle the image is displaced in the direction of action of the paralyzed muscle